Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. Ugh. Well, yesterday was my friend's service. Uh, it was really emotional, really moving. It was a great turnout. Um, a lot of family, his family, uh, his father, his sister, his nephew, uh, people from his church showed up. It was really beautiful. People got up and said some really wonderful, nice things. Uh, I was very hesitant to get up there. I didn't. I didn't. Man, I really didn't. I didn't know what to say, and, and I, I did not want to get up there. And everybody, of course, is looking at me. It's, get up there. Get up there. Come on, get up there and say something. So finally, I got up there and said something, and I almost lost it. And, got choked up and things just came out you know so yeah not not I only had to do that one other time for my mother's funeral I was so young and stupid I you know I don't even really remember what came out of my mouth but that was yesterday Chris is with, uh, with God and He's, he's at rest, he's a lot lot happier, and he's not in pain anymore. He doesn't have to deal with the BS and the rigors of uh, being homeless and stuff, so. Thank God for that. Then there's today, Monday. Now I know why Garfield hates Mondays. Monday, it started off with uh, being threatened to get cut and having my money taken and then being threatened a friend of mine and myself including myself being threatened to be shot by a homeless person and then this person called up their friend basically said hey have so and so go get my pistol bring my pistol down because um uh, i have a pro i have a problem and i have to i have a problem with two mexicans and I have to shoot them and take care of their ass. It's like, oh my God. See, this is exactly the hate that, that I, I talk about. Man, I just... So he threatened to have a shot in the middle of the night where we sleep. And it wasn't, you know, I was going to let it go until he called this person and, and said to bring his pistol. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'll tolerate a lot of things, but to be threatened with my with my life, and then with everything that's been going around here in Pasadena, people getting stabbed and so many killings, it's just, I don't know, it seems like Pasadena's becoming the new Chicago or something of the West Coast. It's not a lot of fun. And after having my ass handed to me in January, I got pretty lucky, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand for this. I don't know. My friend says, you know, well, maybe it's Chris's way of telling us we've got to do what we have to do to, to get off the street. And maybe it is, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's that or I'm just, everything that's just happening is surmounting one thing on top of another. And it's, I also told him, I go, maybe it's God testing me and trying me to see if I'm going to pick up a can of alcohol or something. I don't think I haven't thought about it because it's definitely the easiest way to to solve a problem, right? You know, just go go to the convenient mark and go buy a couple cans of beer and just chug them down and I'll be numb again for a while. And then I'll go buy another one and another one. And then I'll pass out, wake up, start drinking all over again. And then I'm flat broke, feeling like shit letting myself go and not giving a crap about the world or myself or I'm really really tired Just... I've had my fill I've had my fill
this is a test that's I can I can so easily fail it. I can so easily fail this. I'm just a block and a half away from taking the easy way out. I can almost taste it going down my throat. I can almost taste that stupid malt liquor. Just just the sound of the can being open. It just reverberates in my head. And it's hot as hell today. The worst part, of, part about this is the person that I had arrested was supposedly a friend of mine. I've helped this person many, many times, given him money, fed him, do a lot of favors, run some errands for him. Not just me, he threatened. It was my friend, too. My other friend. And we're just beside ourselves. We're like, always does this. Drunk since this early morning, and he just totally snapped and just went off on us. Friend or not, I'm not going to have my life threatened. I mean, what would you do? In this day of age, there's so much hatred, and this is exactly what I've been talking about. Stop the hate. I don't know. We'll see what happens, because apparently he said he was going to call. Before he got arrested, he said he was going to call his friend and have his buddies come down and she come down and right where we sleep while when we're sleeping around midnight and have a shot we'll see if i don't uh make a video tomorrow i guess i'm dead no I, i'm not trying to be funny i'm just I'm trying to make sense of this whole crap anyway guys Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves first. First of all, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't hate. Love one another. There's very much love around here. Live today as if it were your last. Make today, from here on in, every day count. Don't take any day for granted. Live for today. Pull down those pants or shorts or whatever and just bite on the ice. Um, I love you all. I'll upload this video uh, later when I get the time. I'll talk to you guys later. God willing. I love you all. <laughs>